I know, I know, it's after Christmas, but I love Christmas. And I haven't finished showing everybody all my animals. So this one is for my grandchildren because I had to go get batteries for all these. I don't know if you know, but I kind of really like Rudolph. <laughs> and they're about three years ago, Walgreens had this thing where if you buy Rudolph and uh, Yukon Cornelius and Herbie the Dentist, that they would send you Bumble for free. And they all make noise, except something happened and poor Rudolph doesn't work anymore. He has new batteries. You're supposed to push on his, um, his antlers and his nose is supposed to light up and he's supposed to sing. See the little speaker, but he doesn't work. Poor Rudolph. But Herbie does. Herbie has new batteries and Herbie, listen, so listen to this. I hope you can hear that. Come on, Herbie. Oh, he's refusing to talk. Really? Come on. Herbie the Dentist from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Hi, Edie. I see you. Yeah, he's adorable. And this is Yukon Cornelius. You guys remember Yukon Cornelius? Let me find his little button, too. He talks. You're looking at a mighty humble bumble. I'm off to get my life sustained supplies, cornmeal and gunpowder, and ham hocks in the car screen. <laughs> yes, I love Christmas. Okay, and this is the one, and I, I just saw him, uh, an actual uh, bumble in uh, San Antonio SeaWorld, but listen to what he does. Okay, come here, bumble. <laughs> Isn't that great? And the best memory, I was sharing this memory with my daughter-in-law, is when I first got these, my two youngest grandsons were about the age of two, and one of them was really, really timid around scary noises and stuff, and the other one was like, didn't care at all. He thought it was hilarious. So I had this bumble making these noises. And one of the two-year-olds was terrified of him. And every time he would pick it up, he'd go, no, no. And he'd Coco go, 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 his mommy. And the other one saw what that two-year-old was doing. And he thought that was hilarious. So we kept catching number one two-year-old, Kalel, chasing number two two-year-old, Bennett, with Bumble and making him roar. And then we couldn't find Bumble. And we thought, well, you know, they probably, the kids put him somewhere. So when we finally found Bumble, he was on the floor in the corner, covered up with all kinds of stuffed animals and things <laughs> because the one who didn't like him had covered him up so the other one couldn't find him. But one last Merry Christmas, okay? <laughs> Merry Christmas for next year. Are you tired of my crazy Christmas stuff yet? I didn't think so. What are you doing? On second thought? Never mind. <laughs> yes, I even have them in the bathroom. And make yourself comfy. And they drive my husband crazy. And he's constantly turning them off. If you need any presents wrapped, I've got plenty of paper in here. <laughs> Are you okay? You look a bit flushed. Get it? <laughs> flushed? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Who's gotta go? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Who's gotta go? Here in the bathroom. Don't mind me. I'm here to keep you company. See now, who wouldn't what love you that? Doing? Starping in the middle of the night, going to the bathroom in Santa Claus. And he doesn't like this one either. Oh my goodness. Hello, dear. Glad you're here. There's no need to rush. Take a seat and rest your feet. Just don't forget to flush. Come on in. I saved your favorite seat. Can I help you with your holiday Hi, shopping? You look a little behind. <laughs> These are from Hallmark, you guys. Hi, I don't know what what's they got happening this year. with you? Besides the obvious, I mean. <laughs> I know Christmas is the season of giving, but some things are best kept to yourself. There's no place like the throne for the holidays. 
<laughs> On a clear winter's night, you can really see the moon in here. And believe me, I have. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I originally got these for my father-in-law because he's a plumber and I thought he would like them. But my children and my husband keep going behind me and turning them off. Hello dear, glad you're here. There's no need to rush. Take a seat and rest your feet to not forget to flush. It really is a little freaky when, you know, in the middle of the night and you walk in and flip the light on in the bathroom and Come as soon as you flip in. the light on, they start in. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. I hope you guys got a smile and a laugh. Can I help you with Hi, <laughs> she's back. I found one more animated um, toy that I think you really need to hear this year. And then I promise I'm done with the animated Christmas videos until next year. Just one more. Bye. I am fully prepared for my first viral video of 2018. I've been doing these silly little videos of um, my animals. I love animated Christmas animals that sing and dance and stuff. And I just found this one and I'm just, it's going to be a viral hit. I'm telling you, I dare you, I dare you to share this video. It is so politically incorrect. Now. Dare you to share it. most politically incorrect song of 2018 Christmas. I dare you to share it. Merry Christmas, whether you like it or hate it. I love you anyway. I hope you're not tired of Christmas yet because this is like the piece de resistance. This is the perfect little guy. Do not make fun of my one-eyed chicken. Okay. Merry Christmas. Are you ready? Christmas video, and then I promise I won't stay on till midnight tonight. <laughs> but I think you'll like this one. One day at the North Pole at the old toy shop, Santa and his elf started to in the house. Snowman started wiggling just to shake in his snow. You should have seen the reindeer go, 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 let's rock. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, and two more I want to show you. These are not noisy, but yeah, I am that person who puts lighted covers on her toilet seats at Christmas. See the lights? <laughs> I just think these are so cute. They don't make noise. I would love it if they sang, but um, yeah, they light up, and I think that's pretty cool. So y'all have a merry, merry Christmas. Yes, it's me again, your Merry Christmas Nona. This is my grandma one. I thought you guys might enjoy this one. He rocks if he still rocks. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I don't think he's moving. I have to figure out what's loose on him. You can say there's no such thing as Santa. It actually comes with a CD of the song, a video song. I've had him for about five or six years. And he used to make it rock. There's something in his belly that did that. You can say there's no such thing as that. But when he sang, it used to rock the whole thing for <laughs> Told you I have a serious problem with my collection. Merry Christmas. <laughs> if there was any doubt, I really, really like Christmas stuff. So I wanted you guys to see this to go with. If I can find the place where I squeeze it. Oh, there it is. Here it is. It's like the sorting hat. <laughs> it's like this. Oh, where is Mickey Mouse? It's like the sorting hat. See? <laughs> this is for Kalal, because Kalal loved this one. He called it hot dog. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. <laughs> yeah, Kat's having fun her Christmas presents today. Her Christmas toys. Mickey Mouse, he's having a little problem here. I can't see his eyes. Yeah. Our little one, Kalel, when he was really young, he called Mickey Mouse hot dog, and he loved this one. Two in a row. It's Christmas times two. And don't judge. He got a little too close to a candle one year. Yeah, what can I say? Oh, <laughs> y'all! You didn't think I was done yet, did you? I've got a lot more funny animals to show you. <laughs> this is the puppy dog. Let's see. And I don't remember where I'm supposed to squeeze him. Ah, press here. <laughs> Hallmark again. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Good morning, Christmas family. I have another animated animal for your viewing pleasure this morning. Grandma got the He's breaking out. <laughs> Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa. Merry Christmas! I'm back with your daily smile. I'm still finding all my Christmas stuff, so you guys get to find it with me. And finding out which ones still work. This is my puppy dog. Listen to this. Howard, I have a thing for noisy Christmas toys. 
think he's got this is his last song. Can you hear this? Of course, my dog doesn't know what to make of him. My dog's like, what is going on over there? I think I'm finally about to lose my bloom. Okay. Merry Christmas!